Hey there, YouTube friends. Mass Bandit here, back with our baseball stadium build. This is the second episode of the baseball stadium build. It's hard to say, baseball stadium build. And today, oh my god, we tackle seats. And today is such an understatement. This week, or several days since the last episode came out, we tackle seats. Like, holy crap. Uh, you can see here the remnants of what I was using. I was using one of the small little um, trim pieces, one of the trim wooden trim pieces. The issue was each tr uh, seat was coming out to be like nine or ten pieces, which, oh, a seat that's nine or ten pieces, that's not bad at all. Why are you complaining about that? Well, because nine or ten pieces is fine if you have a restaurant or a bench, or pretty much anything other than a stadium. <laughs> we need, okay, the average baseball stadium, I think has somewhere between 30 and 40,000 seats. Let's go on the high end of that, um, Wrigley Field, my home park, well, was home park, the place I wish I could always watch baseball games, Wrigley Field has approximately... I think 38 and some change, but you can cram a little bit over 40,000 people in there for standing room only and stuff. So let's just round up to 40,000. 40,000 seats in a baseball stadium <laughs> at 10 pieces a seat. You can, you can see where the problem is here, can't you? <laughs> As it is, so, so that's why we went, and you'll see, uh, hopefully you've noticed, we've changed it now to art shapes. <laughs> and fences and so now it's one two four five five six six pieces per seat times forty thousand seats the seats alone in this project if we actually were able to squeeze forty thousand seats in <laughs> I, I can't even say this number with a straight face two hundred and forty thousand pieces just for the seats in the stadium not anything else in the project Nothing else. So, yeah, that's not going to work for me. <laughs> Some of the people on the Bro Nation Discord that are also tackling stadiums right now, they're doing arenas. They're doing indoor arenas, and they are spectacular. We have a couple ice rinks going on right now. They're bananas. They are so, so good. And again, this is my, I guess, plug for every video. If you're not a member of Bro Nation yet, you don't know what you're missing out on. Uh, but the stadiums that they're using, the arenas they're building, are re it dawned on me, like, why is this going so slow for me? Look, at this guy's already done with all of the seats. Well, a stadium only has about, what, ten to 15,000? I mean, they're significantly smaller than a baseball field, seating-wise, seating-wise. So, yeah, and it's a symmetrical structure, so you can easily copy and paste. I thought I could easily copy and paste these seats, and then it dawned on me, no, I don't need to copy and rotate. I need a copy and mirror. Like, how awesome would a mirror option be in Planet Coaster? Not just for projects like this. Oh, okay, I have to stop my little spiel here to talk about what's on the screen, the little, all my cowboys and pirates. I wanted this to actually be spaced relatively correct. I know that the animatronics are about a head taller than your average person, uh, but I'm okay with that. I was more worried about the uh, the width, making sure there was enough room for a person to sit down and barely enough room for a person to sit down and someone else to walk in front of them and enough room to make sure that our aisle uh, could fit two bodies. And in the end, I think our aisle is actually going to end up wider just for ease of... Um, placement, which you'll see in a little bit. Um, this was a major, major struggle. It took me several tries to find a process that worked. Um, as I mentioned, the piece count is going to be obnoxious, and so what we're probably going to end up doing is, in the second deck especially, having just um, hints at seats by maybe only using two pieces, just the tops of the chairs, uh, without the legs and anything, So just so that when you're down on the field level, you can see all the detail in the chairs, and then removing it. Um, but this took me so many tries of how am I going to do this to make it even, to make it symmetrical, to make it uh, look decent. And for a long time, it didn't look decent. And so it was, it was a major, major struggle. 
Um, I'm, I'm having a hard time incorporating all the different angles, especially around home plate. Like, I think I, I, I made a boo-boo <laughs> by trying to put the seats in around home plate first, as that's where the tightest curve is, and therefore some of the most unique sections are going to have to be built uh, seating wise in that area and having never done something like this in planet coaster before uh that was that was that was not smart so actually you can see you'll see a couple fade in and fade outs in this video um this is more of like just a process like all this stuff that i'm doing now pretty sure i end up removing most of it and starting basically from scratch again because i had some better ideas on how to do it after i struggled with it for a few hours so there we are placing some more people down to make sure that it's wide enough but again like i said it's it's not going to make a difference um but uh yeah these these chairs i tell you what Ugh, so Pray for Mojo. Pray for Mojo. If you're not a praying person, you know, good thoughts and good vibes sent your way. <laughs> sent my way for these stupid chairs. Uh, I actually ended up, at the end of the day, taking, um, I ended up removing a lot of the footage because it was just redundant, obviously redundant and tedious, and you don't need to see that. Like, as it is right now, I'm kind of talking over this, and I've already watched it once through to make sure that it wasn't too terribly dull. But even I'm like, all right, let's move on to the next part. And so that's what I'm trying. I'm trying to make sure that every so often you'll get an interesting part that won't feel just copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. But to be frank, when you're putting thousands of chairs down, that, that's what you're doing. If you're curious about part count, um, I'm probably already at about 50,000. And I don't even have the whole main grandstands done yet. So, ooh, yeah. Again, this is going to be beefy. We don't have anything in the outfield yet. We don't have any second deck yet. We don't have any suites. We don't have anything like that. And all that I have plans to do. Like, ugh. I was pondering last night, what am I going to do for the second deck? How am I going to incorporate the suites? How am I going to incorporate the press box? How am I going to incorporate, what am I going to do with the second deck? How tall, how long, how wide? These are all things that I've got playing in the back of my head as I just try to pound out the bare bones of this of this first uh, of this first level so it's it's quite the undertaking and I think I might have taken it a little bit for granted I, I maybe I thought I was gonna be able to pound this out quicker than I was able than I'm going to be able to I still think I could finish it by the end of March as long as I keep working on it um, rather diligently and you know like once the process is in it's a little easier to do. It was, once I figured it out, uh, I, it was a little bit easier to do. So actually today, I played for a few more hours, and I actually didn't record anything because I knew I had tons of footage for this video. And I'm not doing another video on seating, uh, or at least not all on seating. I'm going to try to finish most of the seating on my own without recording it, and then I will start recording um, other parts, or at least more interesting parts that go with the seating. Like, we're going to need to... Uh, we're going to need to think about concourse stuff, like how far back are we going with the concourse? What are we? Am I putting shops and stalls in there? Is that going to be something? I think I'm going to hold off. I said I wanted to. I might hold off for now just to see what the part count's going to be. Um, just for reference, I said the seats alone, if we hit 40,000 seats, would be uh, almost a quarter of a million pieces. No name Landia, okay? That park, which has been going for well over a year now has only 150,000 pieces and some change. So, yeah, you, you can see what we're talking about here. Granted, No Name Landia has tons of rides and tons of other moving things, and it's a lot more resource heavy. There's not gonna be any, any rides, there's not gonna be any coasters in this. So hopefully that'll allow me to really push on and, and go quite a bit past the, uh, the old uh, Part count here. So what I noticed here is that in an effort to streamline the process, I was going to actually try to custom make every single section, and then I realized that, well, I'm an idiot. Why would I do that? And uh, it dawned on me that my seats were, my, my rows were too long, so we had to go ahead and chop some off, and that's rather tedious. And again, I think that this is all stuff that ends up going in the trash, but I wanted to show you the process anyway, so you could at least see how we got to where we are, because the process isn't vastly different, it's just the way to make sure it's a little more streamlined and a little more together. 
And what I'm going to be ending up doing here real quick, yeah, pretty much coming up here, is you're going to start seeing in-game walls. And those are spacers. I'm using my in-game walls as rulers for this project to make sure that all the, at the very least, all the, um, all the stairs, all the stairways in this project are going to be e pretty much even. They're all going to be one tile. So is that four meters? They're all going to be four meters wide, which is probably, which is yeah, way wider than in real life but I'm okay with that. Just, it'll save part count. It'll make things easier. And I think it still is going to look good. At the end of the episode, when we do the mini cinematics, you'll see, and again, at the beginning of the episode, hopefully you got a look and you, you were convinced. I wanted to be convincing. Um, at first I was going to go for 100% authenticity, but then the staggering amount of work that I realized was going to be involved in this has now shifted me towards a, uh, um, relatively close representation convincing we're gonna go with convincing so here's where the real tedium comes in i can only copy and paste straight sections because if i have a section that has to have like we'll call it a wing a wing on the right side when i copy it over to the other side of the park that wing needs to be on the left side and there's no easy way to shift it over there um, it's actually i think more time to build the wing move it and then try and shift it to the other side i get that's i don't i didn't even bother i was like no that's that's not gonna work so yeah so i had to i have to build all these little wings here these these angled sections individually and it's it's mighty hairy and again this is like my first attempt at this and so i'm pretty bad at it by the second or third wing that I do I, I get a pro I, I get a much better process down and it comes together quicker so that that was relief because I thought it was going to take forever once I got that process down and I know I've mentioned that a lot uh, it, it did go quicker the stuff I was able to do today actually uh, I was able to do more today than I did in all the hours it was I was recording for this session so that has me slightly um, feeling good slightly maybe a little bit so i don't i don't know maybe not no <laughs> thanks for uh the support from episode one by the way those of you that have watched it and and enjoyed it i'm glad to see it's got a, a some some positive feedback these these kinds of projects are always interesting i'm not exactly sure how well they're going to be um you know how well you guys are gonna enjoy them but I think it's something fun to do. I think it's kind of cool. So we're going to see what we can do here. This is going to be interesting. The high wall on the side here down the foul line. I'm unsure. It might be too high. I might keep, I might make it lower and we might make, I might sink that down just to, again, for ease of seat placement and then have it come up just a little bit closer to the foul line. So we'll, again, you can see here how, how weird it's going to be because as you get closer to the outfield, the seats do, in most stadiums, the seats do turn towards home plate, which makes sense. You don't want to have your view if you sit straight in your chair face directly across the field so you can't see anything. So we're also going to have to think about um, jumbotrons, you know, big old screens and advertisements. Um, I'm thinking of advertising a lot of the No Name Landia and Jubilee Gardens and all those other bro projects, uh, advertising those little fake companies like we have our pucker up um I, I don't know what pucker up even i think it's a lemonade stand that rugel built and we have tfb and we have mine gluten pretzel factory we have all those really fizz whiz cola and of course we can always use chief beef in the other ones so if you have um in your parks if you have a fictitious company whether that's food or trinkets or anything um, send me a link to a building on a workshop or something, and I'll see if it's not something that in the future we can advertise somewhere in the park, because parks are full of advertisement. So with that, um, we're going to call this episode a day, and you'll see me do a little bit of tweaking, and then you'll see the final cinematics. So hopefully you enjoyed. Hit the thumbs up button if you did, and I will see you for the next episode of our baseball stadium build. Have yourself a great day, great night, great whatever, and I'll talk to you later. Bye, everyone.